What's going on guys? I've got this 2020 Tacoma. I'm using this truck to show you the different fuses and the relays for the operation of your low beams and your high beams. So everything can be found under the hood behind this cover here. There are three different locations where there are tabs that you have to remove. So you push on the tabs here, here, and also down here in this corner. And you'll want to be lifting up on the fuse cover while you're pushing in on those tabs. So the cover will come straight up and on the back you'll find a fuse puller as well as some spare fuses. Now let's talk about the fuses first. So there are actually a total of six fuses for the low beams and the high beams. First I'll show you what I call the parent fuses. So this 20 amp fuse is the parent fuse for the high beams. This 15 amp fuse is the parent fuse for the low beams. Those two fuses provide power for both the left and the right. And power from those fuses go to the relays. So we can see here I've removed both of those parent fuses and my low beams and my high beams are off. I'll throw in my high beam fuse back and you can hear the relay click and now we can see that the high beams are on on both sides. And of course when I throw in the low beam fuse, the low beams will kick on. So now we can see we're back to both of the lights being on on all sides. Now there are four other fuses and these fuses are for the different sides. So this pair of fuses, these two 10 amps, those carry power from the low beam relay to the driver side and passenger side headlights. So here we can pull out the low beam for the driver side and step back and we can see that it is, it is now out. But on the other side it's still on. So that just gives you an idea of what's going on. And what's cool about these fuses is you can examine the exposed metal on that fuse to see if the relay is working or not. So for example, looking at the low beams, when the low beam relay is working, you will see power at that exposed metal with a voltmeter or a test light. Now for the high beam, we've got our fuses here. This is for the high beam passenger side, and this is for the high beam driver side. So now that we've covered all of the fuses, let's talk about the relays. Toyota calls the high beam relay the dimmer relay, and it's located right here. The low beam relay is next to it. They're actually the same part number, uh, there's just two of them. And I found that in attempting to remove these relays, it's really common for the entire plastic piece to just pop off with the actual body of the relay still stuck in the fuse box. So if that happens to you, it's not really a big deal. You'll just want to carefully remove the relay and not damage any of the copper or the soldering. So I do this by just gripping the metal here on the side and wiggle the relay while I pull it straight out. So that's our low beam there. And I'll leave the high beam installed for now. So taking a look at the lights here, our high beams are still on, but because I've removed the low beam relay, our low beam is now out. Now a great way to troubleshoot the connection is you can swap these relays, or if you touch these two pins together, you'll see some sparks and the lights will come on. So I'm gonna hold this here and we can see that the low beams are kicked back on. So what's happening with that is when I connect the two large pins together, it's taking power directly from the parent fuse and sending it to the indi individual fuses. So that's a great way to troubleshoot the integrity of the connections and the wiring themselves. And you can do that for the high beam or the dimmer relay as well. So yeah, uh, I hope this video was helpful for you or was at the very least a good starting point in troubleshooting the headlights on the 2020 Tacoma. Please do let me know down below if you've got any questions. And if you also need help actually removing any of these bulbs, I have another separate video about accessing and removing the different bulbs on the front. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a great night.